tragic news now. We've learned that a learner in KwaZulu-Natal has died in a TikTok experiment gone wrong. It's reported that the grade 7 learner died after trying to replicate something he saw on social media involving a sanitizer. Now, for more on the story, we are joined live by KwaZulu-Natal MEC Kwasi Mshengu. MEC, a very good afternoon. I dare say good afternoon. But obviously, you know, we've seen the reports of a learner passing away. What's the latest developments coming through uh, that you can reveal? Uh, good afternoon to you and to the, uh, to the viewers at home. Well, it's, it was indeed an unfortunate incident that uh, we have come to learn of. Um, and the report that uh, we have received is that... Uh, the learner in question who is now, dece who's now deceased uh, actually tried to experiment what they said. Uh, so she saw it on, on TikTok, um, uh, filled the bowl uh, with, uh, with sanitizer and uh, tried to lit it, uh, which then um, exploded uh, and, and causing severe uh, uh, injuries uh, that uh, led uh, to, 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 to her death. Now we have been dealing with sit with this situation, with these situations or si situations of similar kinds, uh, since the beginning of uh, reopening of school under COVID-19, where we have seen a number of learners in the province uh, doing funny things around uh, the COVID-19 essentials. Some uh, spraying each other with their uh, sanitizers, uh, lighting these sanitizers, and all these funny things. And as a province, we have been cautioning uh, learners at all times, and actually calling on parents and educators mm. to be more vigilant when these when uh, learners are in schools uh, um, schools to ensure that uh, they don't uh, digress and do these harmful things but uh, as we know learners are learners at times that uh, they will uh, escape the site uh, or the supervision of educators and try to experiment uh, uh, things that uh, uh, some has have actually led to fatalities and it's an unfortunate uh, situation uh, the team will visit, uh, the team of psychologists will visit the school on Monday to ensure that uh, there's proper counselling and also uh, the support that we can give to the family of the deceased. Mm. Well, ABC, whilst we have you on the line, of course, you've also seen that COVID-19 cases have been on the increase. So what are some of the measures that have been put in place uh, for the schools in KwaZulu-Natal? We do understand that um, KZN also has the highest matriculants in South Africa. We, we continue to to implement the measures that uh, we we implemented uh, last year June. Uh, obviously now with more experience, and uh, we are trying to perfect uh, some of the things that uh, we thought uh, had some gaps in in, in the process. Mm. But we are also competing with uh, the situation where uh, some of the educators and learners and employees within the schooling environment are lowering their guards which is a phenomenon that uh, we see in society where people are starting really to, to come to terms or have come to terms that it is COVID-19 uh, is with us and they've, and they've lowered their guards in terms of ensuring that um, they follow all the, the necessary uh, protective measures. So we have seen uh, some class of cases uh, in isolated schools in the province of Kwazulu Natal, particularly around Tugela and Umzinyati district, uh, where I think one of the schools that was reported yesterday had a cluster of 10 uh, infections reported from 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 the learners, but uh, so far we don't uh, see any cause for concern or rather uh, cause for for close of schools. We don't mm. think that uh, it is appropriate at this stage. Uh, we continue obviously to impress upon uh, the, the, the 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 educators as well as the learners to continue to exercise to the maximum all these uh, non pharmaceutical I mean non pharmaceutical uh, measures to ensure that they prevent the spread of um, of COVID-19. So we continue to sanitize our schools, uh, clean them, uh, provide learners and educators with masks and all these uh, uh, non-negotiable uh, um, essentials that we agreed to when we reopened schools uh, under COVID-19 for the first time last year. So we believe also that uh, the, the, the vaccination uh, program, which we are anticipating to be started very soon, will also help to deal with uh, the panic that is in school in terms of uh, the infections as they arise. All right, MEC Kwasi Mshengu, we'll leave that conversation there. Of course, uh, KwaZulu-Natal Education MEC Kwasi Mshengu updating us on the latest uh, surrounding the uh, incident that, of course, occurred in the province where a learner died after a failed TikTok experiment.